Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for your support and welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into maths masters. I post videos weekly so please turn on the notification button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know when I post any new videos. So in this video I'm going to be looking at grade 8 mathematics focusing on measurement and this video is going to be on squares and calculating the area and perimeter of squares. Okay, so I'm solely just focusing on what is area and perimeter and how do I calculate it for squares in particular. Okay, I also will have um, an opportunity for you to get worksheets. Um, so you can find the information in the description box below. I am still currently working on it, so it's not available just yet, but you can keep your eye on the community page on my YouTube channel to find out when those worksheets will be ready for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so this is a video under measurement and we will be looking at how to calculate the area and perimeter of squares. Okay, before we start, I wanna just make sure that you are 100% clear on what exactly is area and what is perimeter okay so let's first look at perimeter perimeter is the distance around the outer edges of a two-dimensional shape and is measured in standard units so in other words let's say i have a rectangle and i want to calculate the perimeter then that means i'm calculating what is the length of the outside sides all added together and if all of these sides are in centimeters then my answer is going to be in centimeters. So all you're doing when you're calculating perimeter is adding the outside edges. When we're calculating area, however, area, however, is the entire space that a shape takes up. So not just the outer areas. And this is measured in units squared. So if I look at this rectangle, it's the entire rectangle. And if the lengths are in centimeters, then the area's answer will always be in centimeters squared. Okay, now that we're clear on that, let's focus in on squares. Right, so the formula <coughs> for the perimeter of a square is as follows. So like we said, with a square or with perimeter, you always add the outside lengths. Right? So when you're adding the outside lengths, obviously here in a square, all four lengths are the same. So the perimeter would be easy to find. You can either say um, all the side plus side plus side plus side, or you can say side multiplied by four. So if we use this square, for example, right, this square's length is 18 centimeters. So each of these lengths are 18. Right, so if I want to calculate the perimeter, all I do is just say 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18. Or I can say 18 multiplied by 4. And both of these answers will give me 72 centimeters. So take note, my answer is in centimeters. And I'm adding the lengths together because all of them are the same. Now the area of the shape is then equal to side multiplied by side, which is can also be written as side to the power of 2. So if I were to calculate the area of this square, I would just say 18 multiplied by 18, which will give me 324 centimeters squared, or I can just say 18 to the power of 2, and it will also give me 324 centimeters squared. Please note, because we're calculating area, our units are squared. Okay, so this is the two different formulas, and this is how you will calculate and work with um, the perimeter and the area of a square. Okay, <clears throat> now let's look at a little bit more advanced type of questions. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give a couple of more examples here. So the first one doesn't give us a picture, but simply says, the length of one side of a square is 105 meters. Calculate the perimeter and the area of that square. So in this case, you know that they only need to give you one side of the square because all the sides are the same. So if I were to calculate the perimeter, I would just say the side that is given to me, which is 105, multiplied by 4, and that will give me 420 meters. Okay, that's fairly simple. Let's move to area. Area, again, we have side to the power of 2. So we know that the side is 105 and that to the power of 2 is then equal to 11,025 meters squared. 
okay so that's again you start with the formulas parameter you make sure you understand is all the outside lengths added together and the other one is the side to the power of two right so let's look at the second example the perimeter of a square is 104 centimeters calculate the length of each side and the area of the square so take note here they don't ask you to calculate the perimeter in this question they've already given it to you so you have to take from what they're giving you with regards to the perimeter and you have to then work out what is the length of the side so if we look at the perimeters formula it says side times four right is equal to 104 because that's what they give us so in order for us to then find one side we have to do the opposite calculation with the answer so we'll say 104 divided by 4 because that means that I will get the length of one of them and that will then be the side um, the length of the side okay so again I'll repeat myself here it is side multiplied by 4 will give me the 104 but just like we learned in equations, if we want to find out what the side is, we then have to do the opposite um, calculation, which is instead of saying times 4, you have to divide by 4. So I say 104 divided by 4, and I get 26 centimeters. So that means that one length of the square is 26 centimeters, and all four sides will then be 26 centimeters. Now that we have the side, we can then answer the second part of the question, which is calculate the area of the square. So again, area side squared. What is my side now? We calculated it's 26. And so 26 squared is therefore equal to seven, 676 centimeters squared. Right, so do you see the difference in this question? Now they've given you the perimeter and you are being asked to actually calculate the length. And sometimes they can give you the length and ask you to calculate the perimeter. Right. In the third question, the area of a square is 144 centimeters squared. Calculate the length of each side and the perimeter of the square. So take note here now, they're giving us the area. So we know that area is equal to side to the power of 2, equal to 144 centimeters squared. Right. So they're already telling you what the area is. So in order to calculate um, the S, we then have to do the opposite. So instead of now, it, remember this was S squared gives me 144. So to find what we actually squared to get 144, we have to square root that value. Okay, this is uh, work that we've learned in linear equations. So if you're not quite sure how we did this, you can go back to that video. Okay, then we end up with 12 centimeters so this is now the side so remember area is side times side right so that side times side is then for this square is 12 so the 12 times 12 then gave me the 144 right so that's how we get the side from the area okay now the question also asks you to calculate the perimeter and because we have the side now, we just say the perimeter is equal to side multiplied by 4, which is therefore equal to the 12, which we've now calculated, multiplied by 4. And that will give you 48 centimeters. Okay, so that is the types of questions that you can expect on area and perimeter for squares. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask you to pause this video and try and calculate uh, the answers to these questions that I've given here now and then you can come back and I will give you the answers to these questions and I want you to just remember let's just quickly fresh we start with um, if they ask you area you use the area formula if they ask you perimeter you use the perimeter formula right and you make sure when you calculate the perimeter that your units stay the same as the question and when you calculate the area that those units are squared Okay, so I want you to pause this video quickly, try this exercise, and then when you're done, you come back and see how well you did. Okay, so now let's look at the answers and let's see how you did. Right, so for the first one, the perimeter of that square is 5 multiplied by 4, right, which will then give you 20 centimeters, right? Then also the area of that would be 5 squared and therefore 5 squared is equal to 25 centimeters squared. Okay, so award yourself a mark for making sure that you use the correct formula. And secondly, that you use that you got the right answer 
and then thirdly for the correct unit. Right, now we will look at 1.2. So here your parameter was 20 times 4, which is 80 meters, and then the area would have been that 20 to the power of 2 to give you 400 meters squared. Okay, again, make sure you're using the right formula, make sure you are um, using the correct unit, and then when you have a parameter, your answer is just whatever the unit is in, and the second one is that you take whatever unit it is and you square it. Okay, so let's look at number two. Here, it was side squared, what was given to you as 225, so you had to square root this in order to find the length of one side which is 15 centimeters. Then they ask you to calculate the perimeter, which we know is now side times four. So the answer you got from the previous calculation, which was 15, excuse me, multiplied by four, gives you the 60. Right, then we have the next question. Here the perimeter was given to you as 312. So all you have to do is you have to take this and divide it by four and you'll get 78 centimeters. Okay, and then now you can use that or a, um, answer to calculate the area, and you should have gotten 6,084 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's, please mark, make sure that you understand these concepts, and pay attention to where you're going wrong and where you've made your mistakes, so that you can rectify those mistakes, so that when it comes to a test or an exam situation, that you won't make the same mistakes again. Right, and that concludes our video on area and perimeter for square. And there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please add it in the description box below. Also, if you have any recommendations for future videos, I would also appreciate it if you add that in the comment section, because I would like for you to guide how this channel actually moves and what topics you'd like me to cover. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.